Hi Rachel, this looks great and uh, thanks for sending it to me. I'm going to try and show you, um, I brought your file into Photoshop and I'm just going to try you, try to show you some things to do to improve it. I'm not using watercolor, I'm just going to throw some colors over it to show you maybe some color shifts that you can make. Um, but I know it's in progress too and for what you've sent this is fantastic. It's right where you need to be. So I'm going to lower the opacity and I've picked a blue green because one thing that you need to do you see your background values are off so even in this green area you want it to be the same value as in your value section. So it needs to go a little darker but then to go darker you're going to run into it blending with this so I can see that's what you're thinking but if you shift the colors so if you go with a blue green back here and let's see I'm going to deepen it more because it's not quite dark enough and your washes can have the same kind of feel up here I think it looks good don't try and make it be perfectly smooth in fact where you have that little value shift is really great so then maybe over here it gets a little bit lighter as you get into here you know so it's matching basically what you've got and with a smaller brush I can come in even and show so this value that gets darker in your value section it needs to happen here and that helps that highlight of the tree show up so I can do that okay so you'll work out you'll bring it up maybe from here it'll be a little darker around here but then it'll get lighter so um, just a quick way to show you that you're thinking about color families okay so even in this green family there's kind of that regular grass green there's yellow green and there's blue green and I think back here would be going with blue green because it's cooler so it'll recede in the background and then I can pick another color here I can go for a yellow green and this might be a little too yellow but if I use it light here, I've got 29%. So, no, that's no good. So I'm going to even go more yellow. So it can be mostly yellow. This kind of a look that you can maybe add a little bit of washes in here. This is a little bit intense, so I would go a little more subtle. But I'm hopefully you can get the idea. Yeah, here you go. So with your light washes of a little bit more of a yellow green, that might be too low. So start off though bit with watercolor, you're going to start off really light first anyway. So you have more yellow greens in here. You have your blue greens in your background, which will let it recede a little bit. And then you have kind of regular greens or grassy greens more up here. You can even get a little bit of yellow green in your highlighted area too possibly. So a little bit intense over here but I hope you get the idea. And watch um, getting too solid with your lines although I think you have a pretty good feel to this. Your trunk looks excellent um, but looks good. So we'll see what happens with your top section where you're going to have yellows, oranges, those warm colors up here and then you can get into violets and purples, uh, violets and blues for your cool colors back in the background. Hopefully this helps. Keep up the good work.